All right, here we go. This painting, uh, it's from one of my favorite artists. This is, of course, none other than Edouard Manet. Not Monet, but Manet. And I just wanted to show you this really quick. This painting is called The Spanish Singer, and it was created in 1860. One of the things that I love about this painting is that, of course, Manet was very much interested in the Spanish uh, themes, right? He was, he was a fan of Spanish painters such as Francisco Goya and Velázquez. Court painter Velázquez. Francisco Goya was also a court painter. I almost forgot about that. Uh, different, different, uh, different time periods, but, but he liked that. Right? He liked that. And one of the things that I'll say about this painting that I think that academics, I don't know if academics would, would, would uh, say this or not. I mean, I don't care. I'm a, I'm a painter. I'll say whatever I want. Is that, is that Mane reminds me more, much more, of Caravaggio as opposed to Velázquez or Goya. And I know he was going for the whole Velázquez thing, right? You can see this. This almost looks like a figure that came out of the Triumph of Bacchus by uh, by uh, Velázquez, Diego Velázquez. But no, it's Mane. But I'm talking about the crispness. The crispness of the painting. You can see right here. It's so crispy. It reminds me of Caravaggio. This is also something that Caravaggio would have done and 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 although Goy, uh, Manet wasn't as as realistic as Caravaggio, the realism is different. Now there is attention to the painting, but the realism is different. Caravaggio's Michelangelo or Michelangelo di Caravaggio's uh, realism was very crisp, almost polished, and Manet's was more. It looked like like if you took a photograph, and 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 the proportions were more more realistic than Caravaggio. Caravaggio's proportions still were more uh well I mean it was it was the Baroque. So they were a bit different. Proportions weren't weren't completely there. And I know that they they, they look extremely realistic and they are but the composition uh shows uh the proportions a bit a bit slanted. And that's because the sense of realism was different, right? At this point, during during Caravaggio's time, they they were probably using camera oscura. They were probably doing different techniques to in order to try to get proportions correctly. Cartoons, you know, uh, paper cutouts and whatnot, which Michelangelo, uh, the other Michelangelo, was using for the Sistine Chapel. Uh, Mane here, they already had access to photography. So they had a different understanding, a very much different understanding, more accurate understanding of proportion. And, and Manet is a master at that. I don't know if they, they were studying photography or they were doing something that they got the proportions on point. That's why they look so, so photographic. Even though the painting is not a script, a script the proportions are extremely on point. And... Uh, the size of things is what I'm talking about. For example, in Caravaggio, the head would be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger in comparison to the body. Or or another body here would be a little bit uh, smaller than the one in the background. If you pay attention to that, you'll see that. And it's because the proportions were, were a bit off. The way they saw things uh, two or three hundred years before this painting was, was created. So anyways... I see a movement, right? This, this, that the Spanish, the Spanish singer is almost moving his leg. What I like about Manet, this is a painting by Edward Manet, is that the leg seems like it's moving, but there is no blurriness. It's a very cool thing. We see this thing. This thing is new. The Romantics were creating movement, like like Goya, Delacroix, Turner. You know, uh, they were creating movement, but it was blurry, right? Because they were trying to create action. And, and Manet, Manet's movement is almost like if he had taken a photograph. Like a snap, right? Like a, like a Polaroid. And we catch the singer saying, it's almost like the singer is standing over here somewhere. And he's walking and he's sad. And we're looking at him move his leg in real time. right? We're actually seeing it in real time. He's saying, oh yeah, let me, let me sing you a song. Yeah, I don't know in Spanish, right? Voy a cantarles una canción or something like that, right? And 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 very, you know, with a Spanish accent, very romantic and whatnot. 
So he reminds me more of Caravaggio. That's what I'm trying to say in this painting. He just does. He just does. The, the way he paints and everything. But I know that he was highly influenced by Goya and Velázquez. This painting was created in 1860. It was very, very, very revolutionary for many reasons. Uh, not only the proportions and everything. People still at this point, at this time, people were still using uh, godly, godly, right, proportions. Meaning the body was more exaggerated. The heads were usually smaller. And, 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 and Mane was very realistic. He, his sense of realism was on point. Especially for the time. So it was a different, it's a different thing. It was, and, and, and the fact that he's creating movement in the painting, almost like if someone took a photograph. Remember, the, the Impressionists were after this later on. This guy was already doing this. Monet was 20 years old when this painting was made. Claude Monet was 20 years old when this painting was made. So I like the shoes. Check out the shoes. It looks like he's wearing one of those cool new Nike shoes or those, uh, those, uh, uh, Yeezys <laughs> running shoes that is pretty cool anyways there you guys have it the name my name is Jose Trujillo I'm an artist I like sharing my process and I like sharing works that I love and painters that I love and this is a painting by Edward Manet and the painting is called the Spanish singer and it was created in 1860 I hope that you guys enjoy this little commentary like it, give me some hearts if you did. If you didn't, it's okay. I will come back and show you guys something that maybe you like. I don't know. We'll see. Take care. Adios.